Ryan, you are the embodiment of God's perfect love for me. A miracle I never knew would happen. My king, my protector, my provider, my love, my best friend, my comedian, <laughs> and my confidant. From the moment we shared our first conversation, you were my safe place. And that first conversation that we had, I knew you were my husband, the man that I had prayed for for decades. serve you as your best friend, as your lover, as your protector, as your provider. Led by the Spirit of God, I realized that all of the choices don't matter. When the Lord spoke to me in looking for a wife, a choice is the, is the decision between two people or two or more options but a decision is when all other options are dissipated and I'm only left with the decision. So today you are not a choice, you are a decision. And I'm so glad that you trusted me in that process to share wisdom and pray with you and pray over you and walk in accountability as the two of you um, navigated that journey. I am so abundantly grateful. Thank you for holding my heart. Thank you for being the sister I could do life with. Thank you for being a beautiful, ref beautiful reflection of Christ's love for me. I am forever grateful, and you stuck with me forever since then. And I want to say to you all who um who are just who are meeting Ryan and don't really know him, Ryan is every single thing that he pro professes to be. He was manifesting, he was intentional about having a wife and having the kind of wife that God had for him. He and I talked numerous times about the characteristics and the attributes of the wife that God, that I felt that God had for him. And when he met Kanita, before he met her, I told him, I said, Ryan, it was last February. I said, Ryan, listen. I said, why are you still single? I said, what's up? I said, you know, you, you're a great guy. You're meeting really nice chicks. I said, it's you. I said, make a, dis make a decision. I said this, we talked on the phone for like two hours that night and the conversation it was one of the most realest conversations that he and I ever had. And I poured my heart and told him how much I wanted, I needed Ryan to have a wife because he's such a great guy and he loves God. And I knew the things that God wanted to do in his life and activating his life. And I told him, Ryan, the things that God wants to activate are not gonna activate until she comes. I now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may now, at this time, salute your bride. Amen. 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 Amen, amen. He's getting some power. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
It's been a long time Oh.